All right, let's show you some more details on the Lan Sao and the Bong Sao Wusa. So, we finished our third palm and we're going to do a Lan Sao. So it's a little bit easier to see in this, this angle. So when you do a Lan Sao Wusa, some people leave their hand open, some people, some forms, make your fist closed. It depends what you're trying to do. Now, if you actually want to elbow someone, with this part, you get a stronger elbow by cleansing your fist at the last moment. So I like to train this as an elbow, so I like to close my hand. Now if your intention is to use this as a shield to go this way, then it's better to leave your hand open like this. So that's why I have this open on the third section and this is closed in the second section, so you can practice both. Alright, so when you're doing the elbow, the elbow should just go out to here, try not to elbow too far. You still want this wrist to be about the center, right? Or sometimes it can be, uh, well it depends what you want to do. So if you're elbowing this way, this can come out a little bit and your wrist can be your center. If you're actually doing the open hand and your line cell is trying to become a shield going this way, then it's better to move it in a little bit and create a box. Okay, so once again, if you're elbowing this way, you can jot up a little bit. But if you're doing a long sao, as a block, as a shield, it can center, I mean, it can move a little bit more like this, like a box. So, so your center will be here. With a closed hand, it can be here. If it's open, it can be here. So it really depends what the purpose is. So this one, you can come out here, and then in the third form, last out, you can come out here. Okay, so let's show you from this angle. So here's our Lan Sao. We're going to go into the Bang Sao Sao. One way to get power from this is to also initiate this pivoting with our hip. So hip first, hip, and this hip rotates and drives the uh, bong sao out. So if it's uh, here, just slow motion, my hip goes first, then comes up to my shoulder and come up to the elbow and come up to my hand. Alright, so it's here, hips, pivot, my torso, my shoulder, elbow, and hand. So it becomes a chain reaction. So that's why they do it fast. Okay, notice there's a slight shake at the end because I'm leaving my hand nice and relaxed when I'm doing this and driving power from my hips, my shoulders, and my elbows. The hand should be relaxed. So over here, like that. So once again, the Bao Sao Wu Sao should be relaxed. So your entire wrist and hand should be hanging from your elbow. It should be slightly lower than your elbow. Try to keep your shoulders nice and low at the same time. And your fingers should be pointing this way. Some people do the bong sao wusa like this, that's wrong. Or have the fingers pointing down, that's wrong. Or uh, even up, that's wrong. But it should be relaxed by pointing towards this way. So from this side, if I'm doing a pivot, I'm going to pivot with my hip. Hip first, drives the torso, drives your so shoulder. So hip, waist, torso, shoulder, elbow, and then head. So from here, okay, just doing the left, 